Accurate inventory levels are crucial for just about any business, but arguably none more so than the healthcare industry. With the current medical crisis the world is facing, supply levels have never been more important. Items are in short supply and lead times have skyrocketed. So knowing what you have, where it's located, and when to order is absolutely critical. I'm going to briefly show you how Wasp Inventory Cloud can help. While we're going to focus on healthcare, any inventory needs can be accomplished with the system, whether it's healthcare, retail goods, construction supplies, office supplies, etc. Whether you are a one facility medical operation or a multi facility operation, Wasp Inventory Cloud has you covered. My database is set up with three medical sites and then one warehouse that supplies them all. Within each site, I can set up different locations where inventory is stored at that site. You can have as many sites and as many locations as you need. Here are some items I have set up in my database. As you can see, I have things such as syringes, masks, boxes of gloves. You can also see where they are located and how many I have at each location. Now, if you didn't have access to all of these sites, you wouldn't see those. You will only see what you have access to. I can also see if I have any on order, what's scheduled to come in, and also what is scheduled to go out, which is committed. If you need to track items by serial number, lot number, or date code, you can do that in Inventory Cloud. Minimum and maximum stock levels can be set up for your items for each of your locations. When a location falls below the minimum stock level, you can get an email notification, as well as a pop-up notification in the software to let you know that this location is low on boxes of rubber gloves. If you don't already have a purchasing system, Inventory Cloud has a purchase order feature that you can use. You can create purchase orders and send them directly from the WAS system to your vendors. When creating a purchase order, it will show you all the items that are below minimum stock level for a specific vendor. It will show in the system what you have on order and can let you know if the order is not received by a certain date. So I can then figure out, did the 100 boxes of gloves arrive and we just didn't receive them into the WAS system yet, or have they not arrived and I need to reach out to my vendor to check on the status of my gloves? Inventory can be moved from one location in a facility to another location in the facility. So if one area is low on mask, I can move some to that location from another location with stock. I can also move them from one facility to another facility. When inventory is consumed, it can be removed out of the system. If you need to specify who it went to, whether that's a customer, patient, employee, or department, you can track that. So that way you can see who is consuming gloves and how much. While all of these transactions can be performed in the web, they can also be performed on a mobile device. We have an Android and an iOS app that allows you to perform transactions on the go. In order to maintain accurate stock levels, Inventory Cloud has an audit feature that can be performed. Do a stock count on the mobile app and then compare it to what the system shows. Then a reconcile can be performed to correct your inventory numbers. Inventory Cloud has tons of pre-built reports. These reports can be filtered down by many different ways. They can be customized. They can also be scheduled. So maybe you want a specific report to be emailed out every Friday to a certain amount of people. You could go in there and schedule that report. Some sample reports. These reports can be saved, they can be printed, and they can also be searched. The main page is customizable for each individual user. Columns can be added or removed depending on what you need to see. They can also be reorganized. I might want description over here. I can save different views. Here I have one grouped by site, so here's all of this site together. Here's all of this site together. Again, if I didn't have access to a site, I wouldn't be able to see their inventory. I can filter down. If I just want to search for masks,
I can export this to an Excel document. I can print off barcode labels if I needed to do so. So as you can see, there's a lot of customization. Getting the data to look exactly how you want, what's relevant to you. We would love to discuss with you how WASP can help with your healthcare inventory needs. Give us a call and let us answer your questions and show you the inventory cloud software and how it can be customized for your needs.